to be light. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about slow-mo and how you can do it with any camera you have. Everyone wants amazing, tasty, slow-mo, epic B-roll that just, mm, yes, it just looks so good. But not everyone's cameras can shoot 60 frames a second. Or maybe you have a 4K camera that won't shoot 4K 60 and you can't slow that down either. I've got a solution for you guys to turn that footage into slow-mo footage. Let's jump inside Premiere Pro and I'm gonna teach you how. So I've got two folders here, some with 60 frames a second footage that I shot the other day and some old footage that is 24 frames a second. First thing we're gonna do is go down and make a sequence. We're gonna go ahead and do a 24 frame timeline. I've got a preset for one already set. If this is something you guys would like to learn on how to have saved preset timelines, hit me up in the comments, let me know. I'll make a video on it, it's really easy. We're gonna go over here to our footage. We're gonna grab some 60 frames a second, tasty, delicious footage. Now this is a big deal. It's asking me right off the bat, do I want to change the sequence settings to match the video? I do not. When I was shooting my SL2, I would shoot 24 frames a second for all my talking head stuff, and then I would change over to 60 frames to do my slow-mo, so I can slow that stuff down. If the timeline is 60 frames a second, and you put 60 frames a second footage in there, and you try to slow that down, it's not gonna look good. It's gonna look very jittery. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna keep existing settings. We're gonna zoom all the way into this mug. We're gonna right click on it, speed duration, and we're gonna go ahead and drop this to 40%. Boom, hit it. And you can see right here, slow-mo. If we drop the same clip right after it, 60 frames, not so buttery smooth. And you can see right here, slowed down 40%. It looks good. Not bad at all. But what happens when you can't shoot 60 frames a second or you forget to shoot 60 frames a second, you get back in the edit and you're like, crap, I would really like some epic slow-mo right here. And I just, I didn't shoot it. I didn't film it. I'm gonna show you this trick. We're gonna come over here to the 24 frames a second footage. We're gonna grab me walking up to this rock. I'm just gonna duplicate this layer by holding Alt and dragging it over. So you right click on it just the same, go to speed and duration. Let's say 40%. That's what it looks like slowed down. Like it's very jittery, it's very jumpy. It, it just does not look good. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, we're gonna go back in the speed and duration, we're gonna reset this to 100. We're gonna go down the time interpolation. We're gonna go down to optical flow, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna do 40% off of that. Now I will tell you right now, optical flow does take a lot longer to render than just actually using 60 frames a second footage, putting it in a 24 frame timeline and slowing it down. So this is our normal speed, 24 frames a second right here. This is where we slowed it down 40% and it looks very jittery, not good. I mean, I guess if you were really in a pinch and you had to use it, but I would not recommend it. This, however, is optical flow. It looks like true slow-mo footage, which is absolutely crazy. Now there are a few snags and bugs with optical flow. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it. I'm not saying go out and only shoot 24 frames and only rely on this because there really is just no need to do that. But to have this trick in your bag for when you're in a pinch and you need to just have that extra little slow-mo clip maybe thrown in there or you forgot to shoot something, this, it is like money right here. It will save your butt. Or something else you can do is just shoot 24 frames a second. Your B-roll, your cinematic footage does not have to be slow-mo. It does not have to be 120 frames a second. But it's definitely a good trick to have, which is why I wanted to share this with you guys. That's it for today, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Drop a comment below. Is there some other tricks you wanna learn about in Premiere? I'm definitely gonna be pumping out some more tutorials here very soon. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already with the bell notification on so you don't miss any of my awesome videos coming out. I will. See See you guys in the next one. I'm the Iron Giant. I'm out. Oh God. Let me let me try that again. I'm gonna right click on it just like I was gonna do the other where it's speed and duration. I'm about to throw my I'm about to throw my phone out the door. That's why we're just sitting here and this is rendering. I would just like to use this opportunity to say thanks. Thanks for stopping in. Thanks for watching this video. You guys are awesome. I'm just hanging out, just hanging out, waiting for it to finish rendering. You know, that's what I do.